The original nine was mostly filled with major winners and veterans of the game. The youngest of the group was a 20-year-old left-handed player who was just coming into her own. Her name was Christy Pigeon. We'd all agreed that there was an inequity in prize money between the men's and the women's. We felt like we were equally as, as entertaining and that we should receive equal prize money just because it's, it's the right thing. We would get together, we'd have big group discussions on the lawn where everyone would join in and say, well, how are we going to do this? And of course, Billie Jean was in the forefront of the women trying to get them together. But I think Gladys Heldman, who is an incredible innovator and forward thinker, took the ball in her own hands and started talking to Joe Coleman, the CEO of Philip Morris. She had me write a letter to Joe Coleman asking if he would be supportive of women's tennis. I explained to him the discrepancies and told him if you join our group and support us, you're going to receive some huge benefits in advertising. <laughs> At the end, I remember I signed the letter, Joe, show us some dough. <laughs> we had some serious talks about which way we could go, decided amongst us in voting that we would sign a contract with Gladys. And obviously Gladys wasn't trying to make money, hence the $1 bill. She wanted to get women's tennis rolling. We got the women together. We were promoting that women are strong and strong is beautiful. Over and out, simple. Thank <laughs> you.